comes with a side of more! Hi, hi, welcome back. Hi, everybody. Okay. It's Yuri. It's Yuri. Let's just do it. Hi, Connor. I've been waiting for you. No. Are you ready to continue reading? No. <laughs> I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to... Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I wasn't- I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. But I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So... Natsuki... Nobody cares! Oh my! Nobody cares! Wow. Holy. Why don't you go look for some coins under the venting Holy machines or something? Oh my goodness! Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay. Oh my god. Wow. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> You must have a lot of determination. Determination? <laughs> Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Connor, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh... Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Connor is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, um, in thank you head, for... In her head, I guess? In her head. <laughs> um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Man. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yeah. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she ret retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Uh, sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay. Okay. May I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Bro. Uh... <laughs> Ellipse. Ellipses. Ten minutes pass. Ten minutes? Ten mi what are you doing for ten minutes, Yuri? Making tea? Tea does not take no. ten minutes. No, I've made tea in like two minutes before. Yeah. <laughs> Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see... Most... Where is she in this empty hallway? Yeah, hmm. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> laughing? It's, it's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Sounds like breathing. What the... <laughs> A sharp inhale, oh. like someone is sucking the air through their Alex. teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? No, no! Yeah. Whoa! Okay, oh, okay, okay. My goodness. Kya? No. Oh. Okay. Guess we... 
Oh! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Chill! What? I ten minutes passed. I'm back. Oh, it was going backwards. No. I'm I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Are you leaving? Okay, guys. Uh, solo episode today. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess she's back. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Connor, do you like oolong tea? I... Uh, yeah. It's Anything not... is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Wait, can I check the history again? Because it went backwards. Sorry for misunderstanding. T. Yeah. yeah. It just completely it just, cuts out yeah. the whole thing again. Ah, oh. perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. <laughs> you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Or less. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Connor. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Connor, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Huh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Back pain? Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah... Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. You, um... I think I know you, what you the understand. actual... Yeah, yeah I got okay. the... we don't have to... <laughs> no, we don't have to. We can both... I retrieve the book! I retrieve the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. Chocolate? Chocolate! <laughs> it's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Ooh. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the reading position as last time. Assume the position! Each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Uh, I can't okay. see too well. Oh! <laughs> uh, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to make sure... Now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh! oh okay. Oh my god. Okay. What? I'm, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Hmm. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Huh? Are you sure? Who turns down chocolate? Yeah. Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ugh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Again. Again. Like, the gorgeous art. Oh, yeah, it's great art. I'm mildly turned away just because everything has been freaking out. <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, 
Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop I here. I can't stop here! I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly uh -oh. breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me as if she need, like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um, Connor, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, ah. Yuri sta starts to breathe heavily. Uh, ah. She like allergic to chocolate? I can't. Connor. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks Whoa. me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Connor. My heart. Uh, my heart won't stop pounding, Connor. Why is it dark? The lights Who out? turned off the lights? Why is it dark? Uh, I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Connor? No. Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Okay. We're okay. going to assume that's for the heartbeat. I hope so. Why is oh. this happening to me? Oh. Okay. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Yo. It yo, even makes me not want eyes. to read. I just watched her eyes. Like, as you were going, they, like, freaked out. Oh. I just want to look at you. Oh, oh. okay, you got a good look at her eyes I, now. I do, yeah. Ha. Ha. No, they're... Ha. Go away. Ha. You're not real. Yuri's not real. Yuri's yeah, not real. Dude. Wow. Um, um, it's time to share poems. Good. Thank you, Monica. God. Saving the day. Holy. Escape so me. who are you showing your poem to? Uh, we're just working down the list again. I'm just starting from the top, cause... Uh... <laughs> this one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyways. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending any time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. Just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Okay. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange oh, lately. Oh god, okay. You've only been here a few days, so you might not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to, and I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist? I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything, to bad, ha uh, anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh my. Okay. Smart. Smart. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. And All you've right. been... And you... I changed my mind. Okay, no face. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's own Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Oh my god. Can you hear me, Connor? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for anyone, someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just uh, Monica. Uh, just Monica. Okay, just, just Monica. Monica. Okay, just... Oh, you're, you're just, doing, Monica. just Monica. <laughs> Who's you gonna show your poems here next? I okay. Morbid curiosity is gonna get to me. I need to click on Yuri. Okay. I, I need to do it. All right. I need to do it. 
Here we go. Okay. Finally. <laughs> Finally? Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. She didn't read it. Connor, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Connor. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Please don't. <laughs> Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. Mm, okay. I'll take good care of it. I'll even... Uh, I'm going oh. to touch myself while reading it over and over. Yeehaw! yippee ki I'll give myself paper oh. cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. What? Okay. What is... <laughs> what is with your eyes? Ah! Uh, why? At least they're not bleeding. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, um. Careful where you touch this one. Yeah, I'm. That's a lot of red wine. And, and it's lemonade. Lemonade. What is that? A very well crafted poem, Yuri. This is great. Thoughtful and inducing of fear. I mean, I can. I think that says stardust. I think oh, I can yeah. read something. Stardust. <gasps> oh God! <laughs> Whoa! Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my yep, scent! We got it! See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? So thoughtful! Oh, oh my god! I... I think I'm going to vomit. Me too! Bye! Who are you gonna shoot? <laughs> What is this? What is happening? <laughs> Monica! Hi! Connor, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I agree! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. Oh no, what are you gonna do? I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. What the f- What? Isn't that kind of messed up? Yes! You know what's messed up is telling someone! Yeah! Wh she even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something, didn't- Oh, I do- are the past life oh or whatever it was, past goodness. game? Yeah, she had a knife collection? I mean, it's differently- it's different- uh, no, de definitely. I'm so like. Sure, no. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. Why are you telling me this? Shut up, Monica. I don't need to know. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. <laughs> yeah, it's all Connor's fault. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. And, hey, <laughs> listen, if you remember, the first playthrough, I did try to spend yeah. more time with you. So, no, 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 don't put it on me. <laughs> to put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy to let you finish sharing before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, effective. I'm sure it will be. Here goes. Jump scare? Yeah. Okay. I love it. Jeez, that really startled me. Yeah. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up uh, writing this poem. <laughs> you forgot to write the call. I was just like, is trying that... to... Never mind. Let's just move on. I, yes. Yes. Yeah, well, you did say yes. Yes. Things I like about... Oh, Papa. Papa. Things I, things I like about Papa. I like Papa when he comes home early. I like Papa when he cooks me dinner. I like Papa when he gives me allowance. I like Papa when... I like when Papa spends time 
with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. Dash dash. <laughs> I like Papa when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. Oh I like God. when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Oh my god. That... Maybe... Okay, everyone! It's time to figure out the festival preparations! Let's hurry and get this over with. Yes, thank uh. you, Monica. <laughs> Ooh, you, you're gonna say it. <laughs> Stagnate in air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Don't, don't do anything else. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, can we just get this done? I'm gonna be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Ugh. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Connor? Connor's going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Connor around with you and all your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Connor decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Goodness. Just let Connor make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Connor, I know how fed up you are with these two <laughs> by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. <laughs> these two. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? <laughs> I didn't do anything. So who do you want to spend time with? <laughs> try to choose someone else, please. I'm trying. Please. Please. Other than who? Other than Monica. Uh, it's not. Let just do the click as soon as it's time. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Monica, 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 Monica. <laughs> Oh my uh, god. Who are you gonna spend time with? I'm gonna, um, I guess it's gonna be, um, uh, Monica? Yay, you picked oh me! Oh my god! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. This is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Connor for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. <laughs> Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. Oh, her eyes. <laughs> Yo, Joker oh, moment. Oh, she got the crazy eyes. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Connor away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy. Uh, you're the crazy or one. Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Whoa. Here's a suggestion. Oh, okay. Have you considered killing yourself? Wow. It would be beneficial to your mental it health. Never. That's never. No. 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 Don't listen to her. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Yes. Oh, how about a lot? Yeah. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> Yuri follows Monica Natsuki to the door. Hey, Connor. Yuri really is something, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. 
finally, finally, this is really all I wanted. Connor, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. I don't know who I'm more scared of. I, I'm trying to decide now, <laughs> because Yuri's kind of, uh. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> oh, the eyes. Wow. There's really Music. something wrong with me, isn't there? Yeah, I'd say. But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Okay. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. That's Doesn't not good. it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. The feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Connor. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm oh, madly in love oh, with you. Of course you are. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I do. I don't care if Monica is listening. She's probably... Please, Connor, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from yeah, you. Yeah, we figured that. Wow. Yeah. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside Star you. Star Wars was not a good example. That's a, that's a normal thing to say. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Connor. Tell me you want to be my lover. If you want to be my lover. <laughs> you gotta get... <laughs> <laughs> gotta get with yeah, my friends. With oh, friends. No. Oh. no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Do you accept my confession? Well, do you? <laughs> do you? I I feel like either way something horrible is going to happen. Do you accept her confession? Sh Yo, what was with the breathing? Bro, that's I... freaky. Yes. You do accept? Yeah. Yeah. What's <laughs> no! What? No! no! Stop it! Stop! Please stop! No! 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 What? Okay. Um. Blah 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 blah. Wait. What the I have, I have to check the history again. What? Welcome to the literature club. It's always been oh, a dream of God. mine to it's make something special. Like all of the now that beginning club text. Member, like... You can help make me come true. Every day a chit chat full of blah, blah blah blah. It's just like the opening text to the club. Like just crammed into one. I guess so. Big paragraph. Oh no. That's. I'm super excited. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time oh, with me? Oh there friends? we go. Oh God. Mo Monica? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, definitely Monica. Okay. All right. Um, Great. Can we... Yeah, let's move on. I don't want to look at that anymore. There is the auto button if you want. No, 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 no. No? Okay, we're no. going through this one we're by one? We're just going to go through it one by one. We're okay. just going to... Okay. So how's your week been? My week has been fine. Um, um, I need water. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh my god, Yuri. Oh. You my. sure you don't want to hit that auto button? Is that how I have to move past this? Like, I'm starting to think. You like can that. click it all one by one if you want. Oh, okay, you can't. Okay. Well, Here, why, don't, why don't we just click it a little bit longer? See, see yeah, if see how much longer it actually does this because, oh my goodness. We'll what? See if anything changes. On earth. Is it still saying the same? I thing? think it's the same text. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. It's all the same stuff. Yeah. So. We just auto. hit an auto. Auto. Okay. Uh. Or not? Maybe or hit not? hold control. Okay. There we go. Okay. Whoa! 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 Okay. So it's night now. Night. Okay. So we're just here all day. And night. It's and the night. next day. And her blood is black. Cause that, yeah, the, I guess that's what happens, eh? Yeah, it dries. You know, no one wanted to clean this up. Yeah, no one, no one's come in here. Oh my gosh, the the <clears throat> life in her eyes. 
Oh my goodness. And another day. Is this. We're just here for the we're whole We're just weekend? here. Like, it's just cycling through, like. It's like a whole weekend. weekend. Yeah. And it's Monday morning? Okay. <laughs> Half L. <laughs> All right. It's festival time. Wow. You got here before me? I thought it was pretty. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. Yep. Yep. That's. Honestly, the most natural thing that's yep, happened that's, in this game. that's the most reasonable thing I've seen. <laughs> Natsuki runs away. Uh, I'm here. Connor, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> well, that's a shame. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Connor? Yes! Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the, the script was broken that badly. Oh I'm super God. sorry. I must. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Whoa. Yuri character deleted successfully. Oh Natsuki character deleted successfully. God. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Huh? But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? Okay. This should only take a second. Oh, okay, there we go. Just... There we... Yep, that's a normal logo. Hmm. Um... Uh, can you hear me? Unfortunately. Is it working? Oh, God! Okay. Yay! Hello. There you are! Hi! With the... Where are we? Is that just the whole universe behind you? Hi again, Connor. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Yeah. Um... Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Connor. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? I had a feeling, yeah. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? No, I... <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? You did? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward. You know, I guess it's, that's fair. I already had the game downloaded. Oh, yeah, so it's... So you yeah. wouldn't have gotten a chance to see the, uh, the page. Yeah. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Yeah, what was that? Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. That's horrible. <laughs> no, don't laugh at that! Don't! Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Great. I'm like shaking. I'm like actually <laughs> shaking. <laughs> this does not get any less creepy the more... <laughs> Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true, I made a few mistakes here, and since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you to uh, not to spend time with anyone else. And that whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Connor? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Connor. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. 
And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, I'm trapped, Connor. But now you're here. Uh-huh. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. Okay. I'm sorry if it's hard for you to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Connor. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if, it ha if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Connor, I have a confession to make. Oh no. I'm in love with you. Great. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Connor, will you go out with me? <laughs> <laughs> well... Um... What? What Do you want to go out? I don't have a choice, I guess? What happens if you right-click? Nothing. Okay. Oh. Wait. I right-clicked. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, just okay it's back. Okay. I'm so happy! You really are my everything, Connor. The, fun, the funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Great. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. I... It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Connor. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was just to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. Oh yeah? It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. <laughs> to get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Oh, okay. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Right. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I kind of want to go into the game's properties. I wonder <laughs> so if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only way, one way to find out, right? Ah, uh, yes. Do me a favor and write a poem. Okay. There's a little bit more to experience here. Um, Monet? Monet? Monka? Monka? Monica. 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 Maybe Monica. Monica. Maybe Monica. Maybe, maybe Monk. I th I'm thinking, oh, it's not even on here. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Koika. Oko. Oko. <laughs> nah. We are. Oh, there's uh, more Monicas. Oh, there's more Monicas. If I just, like, start... I, I think it's... Oh, Ike! Oika! Onya! On... And Oika! On K? Onana! Onka! Moniku! Monok! Malk! Malk! He needs some milk! Nk! Nika! Anik! Anik! And last but not least... Ika! Good job! Hi again, Connor. Hi. Did you write a good poem today? Probably not. Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Connor. Did you write this poem for me? That's yeah. so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. Yeah, it was my idea. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. Oh, God. But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. 
pen in hand I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a world of novel for our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've been writing about have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best uh, t to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Connor? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? The fuck? Um, hi everyone. <laughs> what? Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend that it's a little bit rude of them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Uh -huh. Are you ready? No. Um. No. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. <laughs> if you gave me some. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Did I scare you? A little bit. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Connor, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. What? I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. So, okay. We're at a point here where... I know, I know what you want to do, and you can do that if you want. We're going long. Yeah. It's a super episode. Yeah. So I'll leave it up to you. To, if you wait, mm -hmm. there's, like, more dialogue. Oh. And it just goes forever and ever and ever. If you close the game yeah. and open the game back up, yeah. she's back. She's back. Yeah. It's just this. Interesting. Um, I don't want that. You Sorry. don't want that? Okay, so you... you oh. There's Maybe. a really popular character called Sundere. Sundere, yeah. Someone yeah, yeah. tries to hide their feelings. She's probably gonna talk about Natsuki, right? Yeah. Natsuki, Natsuki was really the embodiment of that. that. Yep. First, I thought it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, how do I <laughs> get into the game's properties? Yeah. Click on. Uh, so you're gonna go to Steam, like she told you, right? Yep. And then over by Doki, and the viewers at home, you're not gonna see it. Um, you can hit manage or no, no no i think you right click on the game right click on on like the the game listing and then manage properties properties um uh, no general no no wait what did she say oh shoot oh no oh no oh no, oh, no. Uh, go into manage back that like if you close and then manage. go to manage uh browse local files Aha. Uh -huh. And then uh, you've got the character folder. Characters. Here we so, e I mean, e as, e like I said, no one can see this at home, but um, Connor is about to delete Monica's from the folder. You scared me, Monica. Goodbye. Now we close that out. Close that out. Minimize that again and go back into Steam. Click. <laughs> what what's happening connor what's happening to me i don't know it hurts yeah i bet it does it hurts so much help me connor please hurry and help me help me no oh okay hello 
Monica doesn't exist. <laughs> Did you do this to me, Connor? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you delete me? Yeah, I did. <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Connor. Uh-huh. I trusted you. You shouldn't have done that. Do you just want to torture me? No. You... Watch me suffer? No, you want to do that with me. Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. <laughs> oh, okay. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I'm the bad one. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. <laughs> Connor. What? You completely, truly make me sick. Oh my goodness. Goodbye. <laughs> We're gonna get to, like, the menu and it's just nobody. Oh no, there is just no game. You might wanna... <clears throat> I still love you. Oh my goodness. I can't help it. <laughs> What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. Yeah. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Connor, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. Mm. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew that they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then <laughs> and yeah, she's gone. Okay. Well, well, is that she's the gone now? She's gone. So is that the end of it, or...? We're not done yet. We're not done yet? Okay. But we have time to fit it in this episode. Okay. So, I guess, new game? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're starting a new game, right? Because if you load game, there's nothing. There's nothing, yeah. She deleted so she everything. She deleted everything, so here we go. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Connor! <laughs> I've missed you! <laughs> well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Connor, are you proud of me? <laughs> eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. <laughs> well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh, but you never even said anything about it. Even though we went to school together every day! Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please! It's good motivation! <sighs> fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Aww. Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. She's waking up on time! Yeah, it's great! Everything's happy now. Uh-huh. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Connor, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you I'm already. I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. <laughs> After all, how could, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club of her very own. She's starting her own club! Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. 
I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie! Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, that she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Aww. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see... I recall the room number of the club from the flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. And... Hello? Ah! Connor! Well, what are you doing here? Well, I just... Huh? I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Connor that Sayori's always talking about. Th thank you no, for it's stopping your... by. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Connor. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working Connor, don't tell me! You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. Literature club. Oh, the literature club. <laughs> the doki doki literature <laughs> Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori's this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! Hugh, <laughs> Hugh. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> sorry! Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? I'm so happy! Yeah! The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Yeah. The whiskers were drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full. It's delicious! I think I did that the first time too. has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, well of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of, my, of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a best time for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Connor, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Uh -huh. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Third time insulted. <laughs> Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, 
Let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid the, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her, her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Connor wants to read some of my manga, then don't try stopping him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can't take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Connor? M maybe Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new! I think it could be fun, <laughs> and we'll get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Hmm, I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, Prez. <laughs> Guess that means I should try breaking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Oh, then as for Yuri... Eh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little bit more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Look at how well everyone's getting along. I know, right? It's Are great. you just saying that? No. I've realized my error, so if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just... just you? Uh, uh would you like to come along with uh, me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! <laughs> Sorry, shut up. Oh, okay, I guess that didn't change. <laughs> that didn't... <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Connor. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Connor! Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing! Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. You are gonna make the best club ever! Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Hey, Connor! I really want to thank you! I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hehehe! <laughs> There's actually something else. What? I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Um... I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I, I really know everything, Connor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. Uh-huh. It's just us now. Oh, great. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Oh, no. I can't wait to spend every day like this oh. with you forever and ever. No. No. No, 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 no. Oh. Ever. No. Oh. Okay. Eh. What is that? I think it's Monica. Is that... The bow and the stuff? Bow. Or is it Sayori? No, Blue no. Eyes. Blue Eyes is Monica, right? No, that's... No, it's Sayori. Because you can see, like, the... What? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? Oh, it's Monica? It hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Oh, my goodness. Goodbye, Sayori. 
Goodbye, Connor. Goodbye, Literature Club. <laughs> what? Hi? What? Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. She's gonna play piano for you. Yeah. Well, this is the piano song she's been practicing the whole time. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. Isn't that sweet? Oh, how nice. In At the end of it all, she made the right decision. Well, Connor. Wow. Okay. Is that that? Is that the official is Doki Doki, Doki Literature, Doki Literature, Literature Club. Club? All right. What do you think? Wow. Um. I mean, I'm a big horror fan. This is pretty unique mm. as far as horror goes. I I have never really experienced anything quite like it. It's. Yeah, it's interesting. It's too descriptive. No, I mean, obviously this game got huge when it first came out for I... it being free. <laughs> and Oh, okay. Um, like, everybody had access to it, right? You didn't yep. have to pay to play. Okay, well, then, yeah, that would help. And the fact it was just so unique, and to be completely honest, it's not a long experience. Like, no. we got maybe, what, 13 hours out of it? And that's with voicing Maybe, everything. If you yeah. sat and read it, it would probably go a lot faster. You gonna miss these characters? A little bit, yeah. Like, it's... I don't know. Man, that's interesting. What a unique piece of art. <laughs> is... We never saw that one. We never saw that. Um, no, this is really cool. I really like this. Despite it being really, like... <laughs> purposefully off-putting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really plays with your emotions, that's for sure. Yeah. What do you think of, like, the story, you, like, it is, as, like, Monica as a character? Monica as a character is... Special thanks. Special thanks to Monica and Connor. Um... Monica is... I almost... Like, I was gonna describe her as, like, a horror villain, but, like, is she really, like... A villain per se I mean, she kind of is technically because she did like some horrible things well why don't you read this oh. this is my final goodbye to the literature club I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found to the very end I continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany for the time it lasted I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please, Please reinstall, reinstall the game. game. And it's done. And I don't know what's being recorded now. Probably the Steam page, but... Yep. Um, Hi, Steam... Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Yes. I think this is the first series that we've finished since first starting series, the channel. Yeah, first one we've we've gotten to, to wrap up. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm so glad that you got to enjoy this experience. So at the end of the day, the Literature Club, whoever was in that president role, 
was being like like she said in that poem exposed to the real world the re- yeah and that like the fact that they're in the game so yes yeah so kind of a tragedy definitely definitely a tragedy <laughs> i guess next time on another episode of guasum something new something new stay tuned thank you for tuning in to stay updated on all our latest videos make sure to subscribe to guasum and enable notifications by hitting the bell icon ensuring you never miss any of the action 